is going to be a day of success in Jesus' mighty name. Good morning. Welcome again to the Glorious Morning Shower Platform. My name is Raymond Duke. Thank you for connecting with us. And I believe by the grace of God, this platform is doing you good, helping you every day to make the day your own day. Today, we are going to be talking about sharpening your dagger preparing for battle. You need to know that the world is a battleground. The world is a battleground. And when you are waiting upon the law for the manifestation of his promises, you need to equip yourself. Because what belong to you most times are not given to you until you fight for it. So are you prepared? Are you prepared? The Bible says the horses are prepared for the day of battle, but the victory is of the Lord. What is the Bible trying to let us know there? That means victory belongs to the prepared. Victory belongs to the prepared. If you go through memory line, you will discover that most battles you miss or you lost were due to lack of preparation. Many of you are involved in contract. For many of you are involved in presentation. You will discover that lack of preparation or poor preparation might be the reason why you were chanced out. And uh, you know, we have made this Christianity too mysterious, too sanctimonious that we keep piling up complaining it is the devil there are people fighting me there are demonic forces from my village there are principal powers who are militating against you but one thing is were you actually prepared the horses are prepared for the day of battle. For the victory is of the Lord. Another translation says the success is of the Lord. You know, our God is a covenant God. And he does his things based on agreement. I play my part, you play your part. If you play and I didn't play, there will not be production until our part are being played equally. It. it is on your part to prepare. It is on his part to give victory. But sleeping and snoring, claiming scriptures, I am the head and not the tail. I will inherit the prosperity of the wicked. I will make it. It is well with me. There are good, these are positive convention that we do every day. But we have made the hand of God weak by lack or poor preparation. And that is why you see that many believers are suffering. You see, people who don't pray like you, who don't fast like you, who sometimes are not even committed to the things of church like you, do better than you. That reminds me what is going on now. 
in our politics. Many are jumping up overnight to become claiming to be something to a time. To a time. Where were you three, four, five years ago? Were you prepared? Preparation. That's what God is telling you today. Say, before you go out, prepare. A man going to write an examination on chemistry tomorrow will not be reading biology today. It's out of fear knowing that you are going to be engaged in presentation tomorrow and today you are 24 hours on Facebook claiming promises. Eh? Then after that you kneel down for three, four, five hours speaking in tongues. That's why we have a lot of mediocres call themselves Christians. Challenge you this morning that the word of God coming unto you today help you to prepare. Hold on with this scripture again in the book of Judges chapter 3 verse 16. But a who prepare Prepare for himself a dagger which had two edges of a cubit length and he did guide it under his raiment upon his right eye. A simple story in the scripture. A wood and Eglon. Eglon was the king of the Philistines and Ehud was the one God chose to be their deliverer at that moment. And when he was asked to take a present, a tribute to the king, when he entered the room, he told the king, I have a gift for you. After presenting the gift for, from the people of Israel, he told the king again, I have a special present for you. From the God of heaven. And he reached to the dagger, the sword, and he pierced it into his stomach. The Bible says, even the handle of the dagger went inside. As a result of preparation. Our anchor scripture is a who would prepare for himself a dagger. Prepare for himself a dagger. Now you are going for war. Do you have a dagger? Is your dagger sharpened? When you are confronted and you launch out, will you be able to do what you expect it to do? The word there is preparation. A wood prepared. He sharpened the dagger. Morning, night. Sharpening the dagger. Sharpening the dagger. Preparing for the day of battle. But most Christians, most Christians speak in tongue to the day of battle. We know that the physical world is controlled by the spiritual world, but we have over dependent on the spirit realm and tribalize the physical realm. God won't give you the speaking in tongue or give you Holy Spirit and remove your senses. Let this word today encourage somebody to prepare. And as you prepare, going out today is going to be your day that the Lord has made in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your words today coming to your people again from this platform, Glorious Morning Shower, as they are preparing right now for their battle, they will not come back defeated today. Every battle they launch out for today, they shall come back victorious in Jesus' precious name. Amen. The Lord bless you.